After a big year at work, who doesn't enjoy letting their hair down and having a bit of festive fun at the Christmas party? But with the high spirits can come just a few curveballs to be aware of. And here to guide us through all the yeah. etiquette for your annual office bash is Karen Gately from the HR Experts Corporate Dojo. Karen, thanks for joining us this morning. So why is it that you know Christmas parties can sometimes get a little bit out of hand? Well, I'm, look, I'm sure no one's going to be surprised to hear that um, one of the key issues is drinking to excess. You know, and when people um, go there, often they become overly familiar. Um, sometimes we see really aggressive behaviours um, escalating and, and causing the main problems. Well, in recent years, phones have become the biggest problem for people and what they do on them. Is it your opinion mm -hmm. that one should parte without the phone? Yes. <laughs> Look, absolutely. I think it's about, you know, going to the party and, and just um, being present, being there, you know, and um, connecting with the people around you. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's such a fine line, isn't it? You know, going and letting your hair down, mm -hmm. having a few drinks, but making sure you don't cross that line. Yeah. You don't want to be the one that people are talking about at the water cooler the next no. morning, do you? No. Although it's <laughs> fun being at that water cooler, listening to what happened the night before when you... Um, when you haven't gone. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Can you give Look, us you, you're likely to give people a laugh, um, you know, but again, at the end of the day, you, you've got to be mindful of yeah. um, the judgment calls that people are going to make about, um, you know, your maturity, your professionalism. You know, people, people are watching and, and they are um, making those calls. Well, so, give, give us an example of some of the mistakes that people make. Yeah. So, you know, one of them that I, I see all too often is becoming, you know, overly amorous on the dance floor. Um, had to separate a number of people because the boss is watching. Um, you know, falling over. I've seen people really just not be able to stand any longer, go from being on their chair one minute to, to on the ground. Um, you know, we see people um, getting into arguments. I've seen people giving the CEO feedback about how they need to be more effective in their job. Yeah, that's a big move. That's a big move to make that one, isn't it? It. It's an incredibly We've common done one. It. <laughs> I haven't done that. Have you done no, that? To the boss? Not to the boss. Not to the boss. Not to <laughs> Just the to boss. Mike. But one of the, one, <laughs> one of the ones that, that, um, that I notice on, on your list is like to keep your clothes on. I mean, yeah. I, I, what's going on at some of these Christmas parties? I feel ours is lame in comparison. <laughs> it's everything from the person who's been working out all year, feeling quite proud of themselves and, you know, deciding the dance floor is a time to, to rip that shirt off. You know, there's people who decide that going on the, the nudie run at yeah. the end of the day is, is a great idea until, you know, the boss is actually watching their, their bare backside go down the street. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the skinny dipping, there's, there's lots of um, examples where people just think it's funny or appropriate to, to just disrobe. And what you are um, probably not thinking of at the time is that that shame that you might feel doesn't just last for one or two mm. days after said fact. That can last for multiple years, right? Years and years. Yeah. There, there are examples of stories that, for example, I'm still telling um, that, that happened 15, 20 years ago at a Christmas party, but they're just too funny to, well, to forget. Okay, hang on. What's the worst mistake you've made? Myself? Yeah. Uh, I've always been on duty because I'm, you know, always good, been in the yeah. HR manager role. Okay. So, you know, I've had to actually lead yeah. by example. Um, so mm. I, I don't know. Hopefully one of the, the former staff isn't going to ring up and suddenly yeah. uh, dob me in. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, I remember you did this <laughs> once. No, no, very, very good advice there. So, uh, the, you know, if, if, you, if you're having your Christmas parties. Um, remember there are consequences, there are consequences for your actions. People. That's right. <laughs> Karen, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for